This is RPM RPM with TornadoFrames.com. Uh, today I've got out at the local school grounds the Whirlwind 600 on the right, uh, A-tail machine. And this video will be focusing on the Microburst 300. It's a 550 gram machine that's uh, ready to fly without batteries. This machine currently is running 8 inch gem fans, 2208 Hercules motors from ready to fly quads. A ready to fly quads flip 1.5 board. Uh, I do have some custom motor mixing that's set into this frame because of our V-tail configuration. It will fly bone stock on a Y4 setup. And uh, right now this is going to be an experiment. I have 1100 kV motors. I've got 8 inch props and this system is pulling about 37 amps on a 3 cell pack. I've got 20 amp controllers in the machine that are 4 cell capable. So I've just thrown some of my glider batteries in here, some of my two cells that I've put together as a four cell 2200 pack. Some pretty cheap batteries. I just run in my glider. They're only uh, 25C packs. And I think even at that, they're probably a little overrated. So we're gonna give it a flight, see if I melt something, see what the performance level is of this machine. I don't consider this machine, the Microburst 300, to be a four cell setup but I at least thought we ought to at some point try it and uh, see what it does. Cause now at this point I'm running almost the same power system side to side. I'm running a four cell system, 1000 KV motors here. And this is now gonna be a four cell system with 1100 KV motors here. So pretty close. Motor KVs are usually a little bit off from the manufacturer spec and the props are the same on both. So the load is. So usually you would want to go down an inch in diameter in props and spec your system. I'm going to leave the props alone and just throw the spaghetti at it and uh, see what it does here. So radio's armed. Once again, running a flip 1.5 flight control board. This will be a test of four cells on 1100 kV motors. Let's uh, see what it does. Oh, feels good. Got some crack to it. Now, how I would rate this is, these are 1100 kV motors on three cell. That's a good flying setup. The, the other setup I run on three cells is I run some 1450 kV motors, all with the same eight inch props. And now here, these are the 1100 kV motors on four cells. And I would say this is a little bit more performance than my three cell 1450 kV motors. So this has got some good snap to it. That was all self level. Let's go with, uh, let's go into acro mode. And uh, oh, I like that. Feels good. Just. And surprisingly, I thought I would feel the weight, and I really don't. What I am feeling is the uh, is the wattage increase. I'm feeling those motors crack around. Sometimes guys get into PI number troubles, switching from three to four cell. Uh, I don't seem to be experiencing any of those, so I'm not on the edge of any kind of PI numbers. If on three cells, you're right on the edge of your PI numbers. Sometimes you go to four cell and it just can't handle it. But this, uh, this also confirms for me that I'm probably not on the edge of my PI numbers with my three cell setup. This is nice. This is, these are some pretty dirt cheap batteries. Only 25C, 1100 KV motors. Let's uh, land real quick and check the temp of the motor, make sure I'm not uh, burning something up real bad. Oh, motors are nice. They're barely flown. Same thing, controllers don't feel bad at all. So you can see this frame sits real low in grass like that. Uh, and with me running a flight idle uh, motor stop undefined. I gotta get on the throttle and get right out of there so I don't burn up a controller. And that comes to life real quick with four cells. That's nice. 
I don't mind walking around while I fly. Uh, I used to fly foamies a lot and would walk around the schoolyard as I... Uh... Oh, that's a great setup. I don't mind this setup at all. It doesn't seem to mind the extra weight of the uh, extra packs. I've been working a lot on the motor mix under the output.ccpp file of the Multiwee 2.3 sketch. The frames really, really behaved on, a, on its pitch axis. I'm really liking how it's pitched. It's not biased to one side of the frame or the other front or rear. It's got a nice, crisp, centered roll. The roll is decent. I still got a little bit of work to do on the roll. It still wants to drop the tail out a little bit. I think I've got some gain numbers I can go increase or some limits with the, uh, with the roll. Can I get an occasional on low throttle, fast roll, I get the yaw stepping in. It's not as locked in. I'm really happy with the pitch access. I've got to work on the one. I'm actually really happy with the yaw performance of it. Just in in a roll, low throttles. Anybody got any ideas? Please let me know. Uh, I got to work on this a little more. Seems like I work on it something new every week. So. Wow, this is fun on four cells, 1100 kV, eight inch gem fan props. Enjoying this. This is a good day in Southern California. Once again, this is uh, Tornado Frames, Micro Burst 300. Uh, Tornado Frames is a part of multirotorsystems.com. Uh, Multirotor Systems is where all of the ready to fly turnkey solutions will be offered out of. And the parts and particular frames will be offered out of tornadoframes.com. So a lot of the other videos we were doing, we were constantly talking about multi-rotor systems. Uh, now we felt for the sake of people's ease of finding the frames, tornadoframes.com is up and live. God, I'm loving this all G10 frame. So with this frame, you don't get the ability to reconfigure the layout with, that you do with our aluminum armed frames, our Whirlwind series. You can go in there and reconfigure them. This, because it's all G10, you're locked into this frame layout. But man, I don't see a problem with that right here. This thing's just groovy. All right. Nice frame. Once again, these are Hercules motors from readytoflyquads.com. I always like to end with a couple shoulder rolls. I like the way they look. Comes around fast. Shoulder roll seems like it adds the pitch and roll rates together and just cracks around. And I've noticed that on both multi Wii and KK control boards. Those shoulder rolls just crack around. All right, got a low voltage alarm starting to go off. I'll set it down before I kill something. Let's go uh, set it down by the uh, Roll 1 600 here. So that is the Micro Burst 300 multi-rotor V-tail frame from tornadoframes.com. Hope you enjoyed.